Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStudios.com and today we are going to do the quick comparison between these three thin phones which are right now available in the market and they are the thinnest phone or the slimmest phone as compared to any other smartphone coming from any company. Again, they are coming from different companies and they are popular for their thinness and also for other things including hardware, camera and the overall form factor. So we are going to compare these phones on the basis of build quality, thickness which is the major criteria and also in terms of weight and the overall day-to-day -day, day -day usage performance how these devices are good in terms of gaming as well that is something we are going to compare and we and then in in the end we will tell you whether these devices are value for money and which one is going to be a better value for money depending on your requirement so you can select any of these three phones in case you are considering to buy a thin phone in the market depending on your requirements and depending on the good and bad points of these three phones so let's start our comparison and the first thing which we are going to compare in between these three phones is definitely going to be the thickness for which they are known so definitely these are the slimmest phone out there in the market as compared to any other phones and when it comes to thickness comparison we can see that the vivo x5 max is the thinnest out of all which is 4.75 millimeter in terms of thickness and you can easily see that this phone is definitely very slim if you don't include the camera bulge then only you will be able to see the thickness because this thickness figure does not include the camera bulge part so this is 4.75 millimeter when we talk about the oppo r5 which we have with us this is 4.85 millimeter so there is a very minor difference in between the thickness of these two phones which you might not be able to see through the camera as of now but there is a difference and the oppo r5 is slightly thicker very very minimal difference is there this is 4.85 millimeter and this is 4.75 millimeter the vivo x5 max but if we compare these two phones with the geoni s5.1 which is the thinnest from geoni and again they have also launched another phone which was the thinnest in the world which was geoni s5.5 but they launched the geoni s5.1 which is even slimmer than that one this is 5.1 millimeter in terms of thickness which is definitely thicker as compared to these two phones and you can easily see the difference over there but again uh, one thing which is an advantage over there or it can be a disadvantage depending on your camera requirement the camera bulge is not there on this device so the overall thickness of this device is actually less than these two so the geoni s5.1 in terms of the overall thickness if you don't mind the if you actually mind the camera bulge then definitely the geoni s5.1 is actually thinner than these two in terms of overall thickness now if we compare these devices in terms of the weight this device is lightest in terms of weight so again this device is lightest because it has a smaller display as well out of all these three this is 4.8 inch AMOLED display which is a very colorful display viewing angles are very good and same goes with these two as well so we have sup not super AMOLED but AMOLED display on these two phones as well and again viewing angles and the color production is as good as you see on the Geoni S5.1 so in terms of display clarity color production and the viewing angles these displays are very good and they are good to look at even from extreme viewing angles but if we talk about the weight because of the smaller display size this device is light it is around 97 gram in terms of the weight whereas if we talk about the Geoni not the Geoni but this Oppo R5 which is approximately 155 gram in terms of the weight which is heaviest out of all these three and the vivo x5 max takes the middle position with a weight of 146 gram so even when this device is biggest in terms of the display as compared to these two which is 5.5 inch display this is 5.2 inch display even then this device is lighter in terms of weight as compared to the oppo r5 but definitely as compared to the geoni s5 point this is kind of heavier now if we talk about other things on these devices let's take a look over the build quality the build quality is very good on the oppo r5 as well as on the on the vivo x5 max as you can see we have steel at the back we have steel at the back and if you actually take a closer look you can see that the design is also very much similar on these two phones although there is a there are slight differences in terms of camera design and in terms of the back part the loudspeaker is there on this device over here at the back but the loudspeaker is not here at the back on the oppo r5 which is a change and again the loudspeaker is actually at the bottom through these holes you will be able to hear the sound and this is the case with the oppo r5 one major compromise which oppo r5 has done especially because of this slim form factor is that they have removed the 3.5 mm audio jack so there is no 3.5 mm audio jack which is there on this one which is 
also there on the Geoni S5.1 so both of them have the headphone jack as you can see over there but the Oppo R5 does not have the headphone jack but it does not mean that you cannot use headphones on this one you can use headphones with the help of an adapter which will actually go here on the micro usb port on the oppo r5 and then you can plug your headphones with that adapter and that adapter does come within the package of the oppo r5 but in terms of design they have definitely compromised the connectivity which is going to be a single connectivity port which can be used for data charging as well as for the headphones whereas the same does not happen with the Geoni S5.1 or the Vivo X5 Max. So definitely this is something which you may like to consider in case you are selecting any of these three phones. Let's talk about some other things and we will talk about the overall display size again as we already pointed out the display size is the biggest. So in case you want a slimmer phone but a bigger display phone then the Vivo X5 Max is going to provide you the bigger display and the Oppo R5 is going to come on the second position in that area and the Geoni S5.1 is going to provide you the smallest display out of all these three. Talking about display resolution, there is a difference, definitely. Yes, the display resolution is again high definition on all these three phones, but it is 720p over here on the Geoni S5.1, whereas this is 1080p and this is also 1080p. And in terms of pixel density, you can notice the difference. You can see that pixels are not there on this device, even if you take a closer look but these displays which is the high definition display or the full high definition display which is there on the vivo x5 max as well as on the oppo r5 is actually better in terms of pick even in terms of clarity i would say because the high definition resolution on these two devices look much more subtle with the kind of text they have the font size is such that you do not notice any pixelation but again this display is not as great in terms of pixels as compared to these two displays which you can easily notice so this is one thing which i would like to uh, bring it to your attention that in terms of display clarity display clarity is going to be better on these two phones and also they can play high definition videos pretty well without any issues and if we talk about hardware as well hardware is also premium on the oppo r5 as well as on the vivo x5 max as compared to the mediatek 6592 octa core chipset on this device and when we talk about camera comparison let's compare the camera first of all we will talk about the specification and then we will take a camera simple we have an 8 megapixel camera module over there which is definitely something which they have uh, done deliberately so that they do not have a camera bulge so that the thickness of the device remain as uh, the 5.1 millimeter so that is why they have put in an 8 megapixel camera module but that thing is not there on these two phones definitely the camera module is something which cannot be compressed to an extent that it can fit into a, this much a form factor so there is a camera bulge on the vivo x5 max as well as on the oppo r5 so you can see the camera bulge happening on these two phones because they have bigger camera which is 13 megapixel sensor as compared to the 8 megapixel sensor and in terms of image quality definitely image quality is much better on these two phones and the best image quality is going to be the going to be there on the vivo x5 max even if you compare it with the oppo r5 and we will give you the comparison on the camera as well let's talk about the battery again these phones are very slim you can see they are very slim so there has to be a compromise on the battery department as well which is going to be there on the vivo x5 no max because again this device has a bigger display size so it will consume much more battery but again when it comes to the battery size it has got a 2000 mAh battery which is again not going to be great in terms of overall usage this device is not going to last for more than one day and this is something which will happen because of the dimensions of the phone which does not allow them to actually put a bigger battery so this device has a 2000 mAh battery as compared to the battery on the Geoni S5.1 which is again 2050 mAh only 50 mAh is higher in terms of the battery rating but again this device has a smaller display and the resolution is also less so this can give you more than one day battery backup as compared to these two phones when we talk about the Oppo R5 Oppo R5 again has the 2000 mAh battery and if you compare these two devices in terms of battery backup this is not going to give you more than one day battery backup although this can be slightly better in terms of battery backup but again because these devices are slimmer and the battery is less 
these devices do not perform great in terms of the battery backup you can get from it. Now if we compare the hardware of these three devices and the RAM and storage, let's talk about the hardware first. The hardware which we have on the Geony S5.1 is the MediaTek 6592 octa-core CPU and when we talk about these two devices, these two devices have the same hardware inside which is Snapdragon 615 chipset. So we have the Snapdragon 615 chipset available on these two phones which is a quad-core CPU and again this device uh, these two devices are slightly better in terms of overall performance, responsiveness, the overall usage you can do in day-to-day -day usage. These two devices are going to give you a slightly better experience as compared to the Geony S5.1 and this is something which I have experienced after using all these three phones. Talking about storage, we have 16 GB of storage on all of these three phones and let's take a look over the storage information over there on the Oppo R5 first of all and we will check out how much of storage is actually available to the user and for that we need to go over here under storage and as you can see out of 16 GB you get approximately 11.6 GB available and when it comes to the Vivo X5 Max Let's take a look over the storage scenario and for that we need to go into settings. Here we are in the settings and let's take a look over the storage information now which is going to be under about phone I guess. Okay, no not here. Okay, more settings, yeah. And here we have the storage information over here. And under storage you can see that out of 16 GB you get 14.68 GB and system is taking up approximately 5.42 GB. So the UI, custom UI which is running on top of Android is taking much more storage over here and you will get 10 GB of storage on this device which is going to be free available to the user. And when we talk about the Geony S5.1, we have this device over there as well. And if we talk about storage on this one, let's take a look over settings and we will find out the storage information. Here we have the storage information. And this device is going to give you approximately 11 to 12 GB. So in terms of storage, these two devices, the Oppo R5 and the Geony S5.1 is going to give you better storage available for free. And again, one thing which is a limitation on these two devices is that you do not have a slot for the micro SD memory card. So you cannot, you cannot insert a micro SD memory card into the Oppo R5. You cannot do it on the Geony S5.1 as well but you can do it on this device which is the vivo x5 max so even when vivo x5 max is 16 gb storage approximately 9 to 10 gb is available to the user you have 11 to 12 gb available over here 11 to 12 gb available over here whereas this one is low in terms of available storage but this one also offers you the connectivity in terms of expanding the storage so you can expand the storage with the help of a micro sd memory card with the help of vivo x5 max which is not possible with the oppo r5 and the Geony S5.1. Talking about the RAM, you get 1 GB of RAM on this phone, you have 2 GB of RAM on this one, and you have 2 GB of RAM on this one. So in terms of RAM, you have 2 GB of RAM on these two slim phones as compared to only 1 GB of RAM on the Geony S5.1. If you consider the Geony S5.5, then you can get 2 GB of RAM. So S5.1, 5 for, from Geony actually has 2 GB of RAM but this one has 1 GB of RAM and these two devices will give you 2 GB of RAM and again when it comes to free RAM you will get more free RAM on these two devices as compared to the free amount of RAM you will get on the Geony S5.1. Comparing the user interface, the user interface is very fluid on all of these three phones. This is again running the Geony UI on top of Android. This is again running another custom UI which is by Vivo and they call it FunTouch I guess and I don't remember the exact name of this UI. This is FunTouch UI, some custom UI which is running on top of Android and we have the Oppo UI. This is also called something else but again even if you don't actually think about the name of this UI if we actually talk about the overall responsiveness of the UI the UI is very much responsive on the Vivo X5 Max this UI is very nicely optimized and it also gives you a feel of iOS because the UI is designed in such a way that you actually feel like you are using an iOS device or an Apple device because it is very much inspired from that device in terms of the overall UI design when we talk about the Oppo R5 Oppo R5 again have this 
UI which is again a custom UI which is very very much responsive there is no problem but again this one is not that as responsive as this one is and in terms of design it does not feel like a very different design it is just like a regular design there are some changes there are some good icons over there which I really like on the Oppo R5 whereas the overall responsiveness is the best on this one and if we talk about the Geony S5.1 maybe this is due to the hardware or maybe the UI is not very much customized as per the hardware you will see UI lag on this one as compared to these four two phones you will not see ui lag on this one happening this is very smooth you will see slight amount of ui lag on this one the oppo r5 on heavy usage and you will see much more amount of ui lag in comparison to these two devices on the geony s5.1 so in terms of ui this is going to be on the first this is going to be on the second position and the geony s5.1 is going to be on the third position now let's compare the camera of these three devices. We have the Oppo R5 over here and we are going to take the photo of this Robo. And let me just take this photo from all of these three devices in this low light scenario so that we can find out whether these devices actually perform good in low light. And we are going to test the same. Let me just take the first photo. This one has tap to focus and auto focus is there. When we talk about the x5 max we have this one as well and let me just launch the camera and take a photo from this one this one also have autofocus tap to focus is also there i think the photo got shaken a bit i think camera got shaken a bit i guess and let me just take the same photo again with the geony s5.1 as well and here we have the camera ui So we have taken the photo from all of these three phones and let me just compare all of them one by one and we are going to show you these photos uh, as of now okay let me just go into gallery and show you the captured photo which i just captured yeah this is the one which we have taken on the s5.1 as you can see this is how it looks like this is the one which has been taken on the x5 max and the one which has been taken on the Oppo R5 is also there. So let me just see this one, this one and this one. And let me just try to basically hold these three devices. And we will show you the comparison uh, in a pair of two. So this is how the photo looked like on the Geony S5.1. Looks good in terms of clarity. In terms of colors, both of them look good. There is a very minimal, minimal difference. I would say the 8 megapixel camera is doing a pretty good job. And again, when we talk about the comparison, I can find this photo to be good and this photo to be good as well. But in terms of color production, this is better as compared to this one. This one is kind of yellowish tint, which I can see, but this is not that yellowish. This is actually very green. So color production is slightly better over here and details are nicely captured on these both of these photos so detail is not a problem detailing is not an issue on these two phones even in low light when we have captured this photo which is good and let's compare the these two widths were with the oppo r5 so we have the oppo r5 and we have this photo over there the oppo r5 has produced the photo pretty well as compared to these two but colors are actually not right i would say colors are better on the vivo x5 max and details are good on all of these three phones. So in terms of details, capturing details, all of these three phones are good. But in terms of color production, the Vivo X5 Max is going to be at the first position. Oppo R5 is going to be at the second position and the Geony S5.1 is going to be on the third position. Now let's compare the front camera on these devices and we are going to take the photo from the front camera on all of these three phones. And let me just take this photo with light because definitely the front camera may not be able to capture the photo without light pretty well. So let me just take the photo right now. We are going to take the same photo again. And similarly, we are going to take the photo from the Geony S5.1. So we have taken the photo from all of these three phones and I can show you the same from all of them one by one so this is the one which has been captured on the oppo r on the vivo x5 max sorry and this is the one which has been captured on the oppo r5 i would say both of these photos are good and in terms of colors i would say this one is better in terms of colors as compared to this one which is kind of whitish uh, this is much more natural and in terms of details both of these photos are good 
and in terms of clarity i would say both of them captured the details pretty well so front camera is good enough on both of these two phones let's compare it with the front camera of the geony s 5.1 so when we talk about the geony s 5.1 this is how the photo look like again this device has also captured this photo pretty well but if i compare the photo with these two devices in terms of the front camera quality this is going to be on the best this is going to be second best and this is going to be third best you can see slight amount of softness over there in this photo as compared to these two which are kind of clear and they have also captured details well this one has also captured details well but they are slightly better in terms of capturing details compared to the geony s 5.1 now let's conclude our comparison review in between the slimmest phone right now in the world which are available in India. Let, let's talk about the pricing and the value for money you will get from these three phones. We have the Vivo X5 Max which is available in India for a price of approximately 30,000 rupees for which you can buy this. We have the Oppo R5 which is also very near to the price of Vivo X5 Max, it is again available for 30,000 30, rupees and you might be able to buy this for slightly less than 30,000 rupees as far as price is concerned. And we have the Geony S5.1 which is available for a price of approximately 16 to 17,000 rupees for which you can buy this one. And this is going to be slightly thicker than these two but this is going to cost you much less in terms of price compared to these two. So now let's conclude this review and we will talk about the good and bad points of each and every device. This device is good but the price is high. This device is slimmer out of all these three but this is not lightest out of all these three. This device has a bigger display out of all which is again a good point but again this is also costly as compared to these three devices. This device when it comes to the good points I would say this is cheaper out of all so not the slimmest but cheapest or you can say it is again coming into the slimmest category so this is going to be slightly thicker in comparison but this is going to be lighter as well this is going to be much more handy for one one handed usage and this is going to cost you much lesser money so in case you don't have that budget and you want to buy a slim phone you can go for this one and this is again a decent performer but not that great in terms of performance as compared to these two phones and when we talk about the oppo r5 the oppo r5 has some disadvantages like you do not have a headphone jack which is there on these two phones both of these two phones even when this one is slimmer this one has the headphone jack so you can use headphones supplied uh, within the package which are going to get connected through the micro port but you won't be able to use the device at that time especially you won't be able to charge the device at the same time so this port is going to be used for two functions for charging and data syncing as well as for headphone so this is one disadvantage i would say with the oppo r5 but in terms of build quality both of these two devices are better in terms of build quality and some of the good things about the oppo r5 is that this is actually very good in terms of the display size so not the display size but the display clarity i would say so display clarity is very good although display clarity clarity is good enough on these two phones as well but this device is good enough it is going to give you a bigger display as compared to the s5.1 but a smaller display as compared to the x5 max so these are the good and bad points in between all these three phones and that's how we conclude our comparison in terms of rating, I would rate the Vivo X5 Max at first. This is going to be at the second position. And then we have the Geony S5.1, which is going to be on the third position in terms of the slimmest phone comparison. So that's all from us. Do let us know if you have any specific question for these devices. We would love to help you. You can like this video. This video help you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.